Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel how to. In this video tutorial, I am going to explain how to use a jQuery date picker. So let's start. First of all, for this video tutorial, we need one editor and three reference files. You can use any editor. In my case, I am using Notepad++ as my editor. We need three reference files. One is jQuery reference file, another is jQuery UI.CSS reference file, and another is jQuery UI.js reference file. So, first of all, open your editor. After opening editor, add HTML tag. So, this is opening and closing HTML tag. Then add head tag. After adding head tag, add body tag. So in this way, we have added HTML tag, head tag and body tag. Now in the head section, we have to give the reference of the files. So first of all, download those files. In my case, I have already have the links of those files. So copy those links, open your browser. Paste the link in the URL section and press enter. So this is jQuery UI dot reference file. Press Ctrl S and save this file on a particular location on your computer system. In the similar way, the download the another reference file that is jQuery reference file and jQuery UI dot reference file. So copy the link, paste it in the browser. Press enter, press ctrl s, save the file in a particular location. Now download jQuery UI.js file. Press ctrl s, select the location and save this file. You can also download these files. Using this link, I will put these links in my description section so you can also download. After downloading these files, provide the reference of this file in the head section. So open your editor, go to head section, and add this file. First of all, add a jQuery UI dash CSS file. So add link tag, so link really equal to style sheet path of the file using href so go to properties copy the path of the file then paste the name of the file dot css so in this way we have added the reference of jQuery dash ui dot css reference file in the similar way add those js files so add script tag in the script tag provide the srs attribute that is path of the file we can copy the same path because all the files are located in the same location Paste in the SRS. Then copy the name of the file. Dot JS. Copy the same script tag. Spend. Paste it in the below. Copy the name of the jQuery dash UI reference file. And just change the name of the file. Save this file, press Ctrl S, select the particular location and save this file with some name such as demo.html. You can save the file with any name. So in this way, we have added the reference of the, these files that is jQuery UI.css, jQuery.js reference file and jQuery-UI.js reference file. 
Now in the body tag, add one text box control by using input tag. So input type equal to text, give the ID to the control such as txt date. Save this file and open this file in any browser. Here you can see in this way we have added one text box control. Now what we want to achieve? When this control will get focus on that focus event or the focus of this text box control, we want to show the date picker control. That is jQuery date picker control. For that purpose, we have to add some jQuery code. So go to your editor. In the head sec in the head section, add a script tag. So script type equal to text JavaScript. After adding a script tag, we have to add some jQuery code. So first of all, write document.ready function. Now inside it, write an anonymous function. In this way, we have added document.ready function. Now inside this document.ready function, find the control by using the jQuery ID selector. We know the ID of the control, that is txt date. So find the control by using jQuery ID selector. So this is syntax of jQuery ID selector. Now after that press dot and use the property date picker. So date picker opening closing bracket and semicolon. Save this file. Go to your browser. And refresh your browser. And in this way you can see the jQuery date picker control on the focus of this text box control. So in this way, we can add or we can show a date picker control on the focus of this control that is text box control. Here you can see the month is February and year is 2020. If you want to show the multiple months and multiple years, then we have to add some or we have to set the some properties of this control. So let's set the properties of the control inside the date picker so add opening closing curly braces here there are two properties such as change month so what will this property will do this property will show the months in drop down control so change month colon true similarly add change year change year colon true save this file now this file will show the month and year in drop down control. Now save this file, go to your browser, refresh your browser. And here you can see the months, there are all months are available in drop down control. All years are available in the drop down control. User can select any month and any year. Now select a particular date. Here you can see the format of the date that is MMDDYY that is month, day, and year format. Then how to change this format? For that purpose, we have one property. We have to set the for property of that control. So there is a property called as date format. Now set the property of the control using date format colon in double quote. Provide the format of the date and date picker. So dd slash mm slash yy. Save this file. Go to your browser. Refresh your browser. Then go to control. Select a particular date. And here you can see now the date is in dd, mm, and yy format. So in this way, we can use a JK date picker control. That's all. Thanks for watching my video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. How to. Thanks a lot.